Recently, Roblox announced they're gonna be hardware ID banning people. And what that means is once you get banned, you're banned on the whole computer. Like, you can't use a VPN, you can't use a different Windows login, you can't use a different Roblox account. You are completely banned from the whole computer. The only way to fix that is by getting a new piece in your computer, like buying a new GPU, buying some new RAM or something like that, or by getting a new computer. Or at least that's what most people think. And I'll be sharing some more ways to fix that later on in the video. But first, let me talk about this. So recently, about like a week or two ago, some people have started to realize that you can't actually join back onto Roblox after you get banned. So as you guys can see right there, that is a person that got banned. Um, I'm not gonna say why he got banned. Uh, he said some naughty things, which, you know, it is what it is, it's Roblox, right? But once he tried to make a new account and join back, he got this error right there, which is quite interesting. And this hasn't really been going on for too long, but obviously now it is. So that's basically a thing that Roblox has just started doing. And there's actually quite a few bypasses to this. Normally a hardware ID ban is extremely difficult. And that's like the top of the range thing that people do like Rust hardware ID bans, Valorant hardware ID bans, Fortnite hardware ID bans, like all the big games, hardware ID ban. So it's really a deterrent for exploiters, but there is quite a few fixes that, for that, which are free. Usually a hardware ID spoofer costs like $20, $10 a month. So that's quite pricey, you know, even more expensive than Synapse or something along those lines, which is quite dumb, right? I don't want to pay for something like $20 a month, which you know, I don't want to do that. I, I want to just at least only pay for Synapse. And if you guys don't want to pay Synapse monthly, just get Yvonne in the last link in the description. Best keyless love late executor. I definitely recommend it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No more, no more plugs. But jokes aside, let me tell you how to fix this. So a user by the name of Netbox has recently came out with this method. It has been known for quite a while, but nonetheless, he has brought it to my attention and to a lot of other people's attention as well. First, you have to open your registry editor in Windows, and then you navigate to the following place in the registry editor. Here's the little box of where you have to go. And then once you're in that directory, you have to look for a string value named launch EAXP. If your Roblox client closes a few seconds after launch, that means your hardware ID ban. And it's also for the browser mode and the stupid Microsoft. <laughs> the stupid Microsoft Store. So what you'll have to do is change the launch EXP string, the numbers and stuff that is written in that value to in-app from in-browser to in-app, which will trick your client into thinking you're running the Roblox Lua app, which essentially removes the whole ability to get hardware ID pan. So that's basically the way you guys can get unbanned by just simply going into your computer, changing a few settings in like a minute and bam, there you go. You just saved yourself hundreds, if not thousands of dollars that you could have spent on stupid hardware ID spoofers or buying a new part for your computer or a whole computer. Yeah, buying a whole computer is uh, pretty expensive, I'm gonna be honest. And with the launch of Bifron, this will probably get way more common and way more people will start getting actually banned. So if you guys wanna save this video or share it with your friends that also exploit and don't wanna get banned, make sure to let them know. And the thing is, you know, if you get banned on your alt, that you're exploiting on, you will also get banned on your main and get that account linked with your alt. But with this method, you can prevent that and prevent getting banned all of the, the whole thing, you know? So it's pretty awesome. And I definitely recommend you guys will try this out if you're already banned. And if you are 268 error, I know a lot of you guys get that error often, you can watch this video right there to figure out how to fix that error. It's not the same thing as what I'm talking about right now, which is the hardware ID ban. But the 268 error is a form of like a temporary ban because something got detected and Roblox was like, wait, that's sus, you know, what's going on here? Even though you might have not been exactly exploiting, it still gets triggered for certain things. And if you wanna know exactly what that gets triggered for, you guys can also watch the video. Like I, like I just said, that video, I state what that 268 error gets triggered for and why it usually happens. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update after that little Bifon video I did like a, a week ago or two. And I just wanted to let y'all know what's going on with the Roblox. I'll be probably doing more videos like these. So if you're interested, make sure to stick around. 
But yeah, basically, even though that's been around for a while, I know a lot of people still don't know it, especially if you guys don't browse like exploiting forums very often. I'm, I didn't know. I'm going to be honest. I didn't know it. So if you guys didn't know it, let me know down in the comments. Just tell me, you know, I didn't know that either. Thanks for the info. And just let me know who, who knew and who didn't because I certainly didn't. So thank you for the people that shared that with me and let me know because that's definitely I want to something I share. Something def what the heck? Something I definitely want to share with you guys and let y'all know because it's kind of important to get unbanned if you are a hardware ID banned and you're like, you know, panicking like what's going on. So there you go. But thank you for watching the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down your favorite moment or feature from the video to enter the 180K Snap6 giveaway. We're gonna be giving away 19 keys. And all you need to do once again is leave a like, be subscribed, and comment down your favorite moment or feature from the video. But I appreciate you for sticking along till the end of the video because that supports the channel the most. And hopefully I'll catch you all in the next one. See you guys.